What's up, One Crack News? It's your boy Carcino here. Let's talk about it. Now, it's very interesting to me. People are like, see, though, you ain't talked about Britney Griner. Why haven't you talked about Britney Griner? Because I've spoken on it, but you want me to speak on her release. Okay, let's talk about her release. Everyone says it's political. Do um, you, you think so? <laughs> you noticed it was done after the election was over. Then, all of a sudden, she could be released. After being held since February, I remember when she went in, it was so weird to me how everyone in the free world was like, that's ridiculous. Even the Republicans and the conservatives were saying how bad this was and Trump would have had her out by now. All of this nonsense was being said. Oh, Trump would have had her home by now. If it was Trump, she'd have been home. Trump would have went over there and straightened all that out. Biden can't get her home. That was the story. Now, She gets released, and they make a deal. The country who we don't negotiate with terrorists. And they made it look like Russia was a terrorist and was the enemy. They negotiated, which I've explained many times that that phrase has been misused over and over again. They negotiate with everybody who has leverage. So that's all a lie. Now, what makes it even more interesting here? What makes it more interesting and more like, hmm, put your finger on your chin and got to think about it. Makes it more jaw dropping. It's a very simple fact. And the fact is, you know nothing. All of a sudden, this whaling guy becomes the story. Once they trade, they traded him for the merchant of death. This guy distributed guns. He did, he delivered all these guns illegally. This guy was serving a 20 some year sentence. They've had him locked up for 12. So he had probably another 7 to 8 different years left remaining on his term or what have you. He was going to He was going to actually, oh my God, did this really just happen? <laughs> do your thing, man, do your thing. So, anyhow, I just got something that just threw me way off. But all of a sudden, this guy who they released was not about to do anything.
You feel me? Not one thing. They were not going to let this guy go back to delivering arms. And if he did, they don't care. Y'all act like this guy was the merchant of death. He delivered all these guys. And you took him off the streets for 12 years. And guns and everything was still being distributed. So what did he stop? Now Waylon is the guy. We left the war hero and brought back the lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but everybody was in agreement that she should come home. But now all of a sudden, this war hero matters so much that y'all never mentioned his name while she was locked up. Nobody's saying, we should be getting Waylon out. None of this was brought up. The moment she gets out, this dude Waylon is trending. <laughs> what about Waylon? And now you got people walking around, yeah, they left the war hero in there. This guy actually was a spy, and, you know, we just left him behind. <laughs> now he's going to get beaten, tortured some more. <laughs> and they was like, look, we'll get you on the next run. Don't worry about it. We'll come back and get you. Well, see, here's the thing. That guy's a spy. Over in Russia. They caught him. Making, doing treason or whatever. He's an agent. He knows the job. He knows the risk. He knows the rights. This girl had, what, like vape oil. Or THC oil or whatever. For her, whatever, smoking and all that stuff. So... You know, she was just smoking weed. And it's how it's very ironic that Biden is the one that got her out when he got the 94 crime bill. <laughs> Him and his buddy Bill has locked everybody up for a joint. Since 1996, everybody been going down to jail. What's that? A blunt. Oh, you got a blunt. One, you had the weed in the blunt and you got a baggie here. That looked like intent to distribute to me. What? <laughs> so people are behind bars because of good old good old good old catatrusum bite and he's out there in a line with Camelot Harris and the the other black lady, she looked so out of place. They didn't dress her up, got her hairstylist, pressed her hair so she could stand up there with the president so he could grandstand about how they got her out of jail by giving up a war hero and everything else. Like, yep, we told you. We've been working tirelessly trying to get her out. Oh, man. This is pathetic, to say the least. You got him up there talking about all the all the different situations that went through all the things that's going on in our country here in the United States of America and we can't get the same respect the same love the same anything as anybody else so if you're a black lesbian woman we get to bring you home. We'll get there. 
He's up there on the podium. Oh, we worked tirelessly to bring her home. Told you I like darkies. <laughs> Can't say darkies. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, told you I love the blacks. Right? Blacks, right? Okay. Blacks. <laughs> oh, man. It's tragic. But that's good old Joe. Can't do no wrong with him. Well, they're all at fault. The conservatives. Yeah, they all. The conservatives. You got them on one side. And on the other side, you got... Um, After the conservatives, you got uh, the Democrats. Everybody is guilty in this. Because the conservatives are the ones that actually turned around and started singing a whole nother tune. You know, they were the main ones telling Biden to go get her. Trump would have had her out. And then they were not mentioning Whalen at all. Maybe some in the beginning, some few. But I didn't hear anybody saying nothing about this Whalen guy. Now, once everything played out, now all of a sudden, it's all about Waylon. He was a war hero. When you're a spy and you get caught, they torture you for information. He's been there enough, long enough, for them to have gotten everything out of him. And if they ain't broke him by now, they ain't never going to break him. Believe me, the guy y'all rooting and raving about probably didn't told every damn thing from sun up to sundown. And that's probably why they left his ass. And y'all don't even know that. <laughs> And no knock on him. I'm just saying, hell, I would have told them up. All they had to do was splash me with cold water. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, y'all ain't asked me no questions yet. <sighs> y'all playing rough. <laughs> Man, it's <that's> cold. <laughs> what y'all want to do? Should have just asked me first. Man, that, I'm telling you, both sides are equally wrong in this situation. Now that she's out, we should have got Waylon. <laughs> They's like, we tried to get him. They told us it's one or none. We ain't doing a two. <laughs> we ain't doing a two for. So now they got to get him on the next flyby. Now, Hmm, this is interesting. Guess I'll grab these. But...